Hi friends, this is going to be my last video and this one is a part two on um, how to take care of your crack feet. The first one that I made was also for crack feet but it was with baking soda. So I'm giving you an alternative for those of you who would not be able to use baking soda for whatever reason. So if you want to take care of your feet, the alternative now would be to use sea salt okay so this is something that you can find at whatever place okay probably like five to ten dollars okay and don't forget your brush and remember it doesn't have to be this one at cvs you know you can find this one or you can find something else and um also that one field rescue you also find this one at cvs in the food food department okay so what you would do you will fill your tub with water you know when i say fill you know it's not filled to the top put enough water to soak your feet and uh add some salt i don't use measure i am not a measuring person i just go like that i just spread it and as i spread it i know exactly in my mind how much salt i put so and um if you have time you let your feet soak for 10 minutes but some people really don't have 10 minutes because their whole shower is 10 minutes so what you do if you really don't have time so while you are taking the shower make sure you already have the tub uh, fill up with some water and you add your salt so now the moment you get into the tub to start you know getting yourself ready to take your shower at least your feet can, would be able to absorb the salt you know the salty water which is good for them so now and as you know you're soaking yourself make sure you use this to scrape your feet okay so scrape you know for as long as you can right and when it's new it's kind of sharp so for those of you who get used to use this one you probably know exactly how it works and um so now once you finish, you get outside the tub and you know your feet are going to be very happy because salt water is very good for, for our skin. Okay, it's good for your face, it's good for your whole body. So it has a lot of good things in it to help you and it makes you feel like it's like therapy. Okay, so you'll be very happy. So what I do, I alternate between uh, baking soda and uh, sea salt. I'm making that video because some people you, it's always good to have choices so if you are the type of person who hates baking soda um, or at least you know you can always use sea salt if you are the type of person who doesn't like sea salt you can use baking powder so either or you know you you'll be very happy and once you finish to do that you get outside please do not forget to use this one you know cvs should just pay me because i'm doing commercial for something they sell and you know i don't have no profit it's just because i use it and it works very well come on now i want you to see for some reason it's kind of blurry up okay field rescue so you find this one at CVS in the food department and the way it works it's nice it's soft it's greasy and it's also camouflage okay so when you put it on your crack feet what you do you just rub it and so where when wherever you have crack what it does it's like it's a glue it just seal the crack so even though the crack is right there but you have to make sure if you put it you still see some crack you go like that you put it a little bit yeah so what it does it just camouflage the uh, crack for you and you'll be very happy so this is the other part so for the other video for taking care of your crack feet look warm water sea salt and here and heal rescue okay 
So you do that, you be very happy. So keep me posted. Let me know what you think. And take care of your whole body. Take care of your feet. And your feet are going to be very pleased. And if your feet are pleased, you also will be very pleased. So you have a good night. And thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my videos. And send me comments. And let me know what you think. You take good care of yourself. Cheers. Bye-bye.